Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, in this video I want to talk a little bit about the Laravel starter kits. Uh, I made a video for Laravel Livewire starter kit, uh, View and React and also for new options. Option which we have here which is the Work OS option. Now uh, one thing is missing here or Laravel team uh, dot include because they said uh, they think maybe we don't need that but with Laravel 11 we had uh, Laravel Breeze and Laravel Jetstream okay and with Laravel Breeze we had options with uh, View and React of course with Livewire we had uh, with Livewire uh, class and functional APIs but also we have with just Blade okay if you want that to create a breeze with only blade and alpine you will choose blade and alpine but now in the laravel 12 we don't have only blade starter kit anymore and i saw some people on twitter some reaction there who want to work only with blade that we don't have in the laravel 12. you can choose to work with uh, live wire which is similar but for someone who don't like to work with Livewire, why he need to have that Livewire over there? The first thing and the next thing I want to talk is that the uh, WorkOS uh, authentication. Now WorkOS is great. Yeah, right now has one million uh, free, one million user management. But uh, and yeah, you have by default the login with a GitHub, Google, uh, Microsoft, or Apple and also passkey supports code sent via email built in rate limiting and SSO but uh, why you need to open a new application to manage your users for your Laravel application because at the end Laravel is a backend framework which can handle all the work for you so why you need to have a separate uh, application to manage your users if you have if you work with Next.js for example yeah you can use with the work OS and that is okay or with the react only or with view but if you work with Laravel I think uh, was is more okay to work with the Laravel built-in authentication and uh, for example if you have your application where you manage your subscription, your uh, posts or anything else, why you need to open in another tab the work OS to see and manage your users. You can manage, the, you can see the users on the Laravel application because you have the database of that, but to manage the create roles, update roles, I think you need, if you work with work OS, you need to create an uh, roles and permissions in the authentic in the work OS authentication uh, section and that's it all what i wanted to talk about in this video the laravel 12 we missing the blade and we have a new option for authentication which is going to manage our uh, login uh, register page uh, design and permission and uh, roles now, if you liked other videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much, friends.